Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering six easy shiny hunts for some of the best new Pokemon now available in the Indigo Disc. Now the first Pokemon we are going to be going over today is going to be for Lapras, the ice and water type Pokemon. This is one of my favorite Pokemon that has been introduced to the Indigo Disc. And it has such a great shiny as well with that kind of pinky purpley color to it. From the fly point in this central plaza, you literally just want to be flying over this wall here. You're not traveling very far at all into this little corner where you'll just see the water in front of you. There'll be three snowy boulders, as you can see here in front of you. And it's this position where we are going to be hunting Lapras. We're going to be going into the polar biome and then despawning everything on the field by heading back into the central area. So you're essentially just running backwards and forwards, allowing the new spawns to come in. And then if no shiny appears, just turning around, coming back into the central plaza area, everything will despawn. And then you repeat this process. It's a very easy shiny hunt. So when you're in this position here, you want to just drop a save before you start the shiny hunt because we will be setting up a sandwich, which is going to give us the encounter and sparkling power level three for ice type Pokemon. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat to this hunt because you're also going to get other ice types appearing. This is the polar biome, but predominantly you are going to get the majority of Pokemon spawning in going to be Lapras in this body of water right in front of us. So once you've set up that encounter and sparkling power level three sandwich, you can take your picnic down and then move towards this body of water and you'll see a number of Lapras spawning in front of you. You'll get bear ticks and you'll get Sphiel and Dugon spawning. But like I say, primarily the main Pokemon that is going to spawn in this area is going to be Lapras. Now we've dropped a save, so you're going to have 30 minutes to go backwards and forwards in this area, despawning anything that isn't a shiny and then coming back to this point and allowing new spawns to come in. If you don't get the shiny in the 30 minutes, we have saved. So what you can do is just reset your game, set the sandwich up again. This one did take me a few sandwiches to get but you might get lucky and get it on your first one. Although just be aware that it might take a number of sessions before you're able to get the shiny, but this is probably one of the best spots that you can come and hunt Lapras without it being a mass outbreak in your games. The next shiny hunt is gonna be for Beldum. So you can get a shiny Metagross, one of the best new shiny Pokemon that we've got available in the Indigo Disc. The best fly point to get to the location that we'll be heading to will be from the Polar Outdoor Classroom 2, which is located towards the southern edge of the Polar Biome. And we are going to be wanting to head to this area right here. It's just an elevated area just north of this pond area towards the west edge of the Polar Biome. So this location here on your map, like I say, the closest fly point is going to be the Polar Outdoor Classroom 2. And as you come towards this area, you'll see a tiny pond and it is just up on this ridge area to the north of this pond area. And you're going to want to locate yourself on this elevated area just beside this big rock here. This is where we're going to primarily be doing the shiny hunt and the spawns will be primarily from this location in the corner towards where we're facing right now. So again, before we start anything, we want to drop a save because we will be setting up another sandwich. This time we're setting up a sandwich that gives us the encounter power and sparkling power for psychic type Pokemon. These are going to be level three sandwiches that so do require Herba Mystica. And as always, we are using recipes here in these videos, but there will be examples linked in the description if you want some other examples for different recipes for mix and match in Herba Mystica or just other examples you can use when you're setting up the same powers that we are in our videos. Now we will be using the picnic method for despawning and respawning the Beldums that you're going to see. You're also going to get a selection of Metangs when you do set up the sandwich. We have dropped a save, so ensuring if we don't get the shiny in the 30 minutes, we can reset our game, come back to this point, set the same sandwich powers up once again, so we're not wasting resources and start the process until we do get the shiny. It's a very simple process of setting your picnic up to despawn any non-shinies on the field and then taking your picnic down to allow new ones to spawn in, giving you the chance of that shiny to pop up onto the field. This is a very good spot for you to have a kind of an isolated shiny hunt where nothing else is going to be appearing on the field. You can concentrate all of your attention down onto getting this shiny Beldum, which is going to be one of the best Pokemon for you to get in the Indigo Disc. Now, when the shiny does eventually pop up onto the field, it'll look like this. 
but make sure you drop a save before you encounter the Beldum or the Matang because it is an extremely difficult Pokemon to catch. So if you're wanting to grab it in a special Pokeball, you're going to have to ensure that you have dropped a save before you encounter the Shiny. And then if you do fail the Shiny with whatever special Pokeball you've got or in mind, then you can just reset your game, come back into it and then try again. It took me a lot of resets to get this Beldum in a heavy ball, but if you're persistent, you will be able to get it eventually. It's always good to have something like a false swipe user and something with a status condition move as well to make sure that you're increasing the catch rates as best possible so you can get this Pokemon in whatever special Pokeball you would like to. If you have done this hunt in your games, do let me know down in the comment section what Pokeball you caught your shiny Beldum in to get that shiny Metagross in the Indigo Disc. Now, another favorite of mine that is now available in the Indigo Disc is going to be for Porygon, so you can get yourself a shiny Porygon, Porygon 2, or even Porygon Z. The best location to shiny hunt this Pokemon is going to be in Charge Stone Cave. You're going to want to head to the Polar Outdoor Classroom 1, and then directly behind this, they will see an entrance to the Charge Stone Cave, and it's through this entrance that you're going to want to travel, and then you're going to want to head up to the upper levels of this cavern. If you follow where we are going, you're going to firstly come past a Wild Terrestrialized Porygon, and it's past this direction here, you'll come to a path which will be on a slope, and you want to come to the top of this embankment here. Turn around, and this is where we're going to locate ourselves for the shiny hunt, looking down the slope. Now you want to just come back a little bit from the slope's edge and then you can drop a save and then set up a sandwich. Again, this one is going to be the picnic method to reset and respawn these Porygon onto the field. But it is going to be a very good location where you're only going to get a small concentrated number of Porygons appearing in front of you, making the shiny hunt very easy for you to do in your game. Porygon is going to be a very easy Pokemon to spot in the wild as well. It is a very vibrant blue color rather than its pink and turquoisey color that it normally is in its regular form. Now once you've dropped your save, got your picnic set up in front of you, you want to create a sandwich that is going to give you the encounter power and sparkling power level 3 for normal type Pokemon. Once you've done this, and take down your picnic and you'll be able to see a huge number of Porygon spawning in front of you. Like I say, this method is very good and it will yield very good and quick results. But again, if you don't get the shiny within the 30 minutes allocated to you by your sandwich power, then you can just reset your game, start this process again until you do manage to get the shiny Porygon. Like I say, a very easy shiny for you to spot once it does pop up onto the field. Again, before you do encounter it, it's always worth dropping a save counter it and then try and get it in whatever special pokeball you would like to next up is the water and bug type pokemon jupida and araquanid now this hunt is a really easy one as well for you to do you want to first travel to the savannah rest area too and you're going to be heading up to this ridge here in the coastal biome so it's in the very southern area of the coastal biome but on the ledge of this cliff edge here and once you're at this location very easy to get to you're going to be able to set your picnic up in the location that we are positioned right now in the middle of this ledge area. And once you've done that, take your picnic down, drop a save and then set your picnic up again to create a sandwich. This is going to give you the encounter power level three and sparkling power level three for bug type Pokemon. Once you do this, you're going to have isolated spawns for just Araquanid and Jupida appearing on your field. Again, a very easy shiny to spot, even though the Dupida are very, very small. It's going to be super noticeable when the shiny does spawn onto the field. Obviously, a Raquanid a lot easier to spot because it is a much bigger Pokemon. But even the Dupidas, when they do spawn onto the field, they're going to be a nice purpley, darker blue color rather than their yellow and lighter blue color that their regular forms are. The same goes for a Raquanid. It is going to have those big orange eyes in its shiny form and more purple legs rather than its normal form that is easily identifiable when the shiny comes onto the field. The method here is going to be the picnic method. We are going to be taking down our picnic, letting the spawns hit the field in front of us when nothing else is spawning in. Set up your picnic, despawn everything that's there, and then repeat this method, taking your picnic down to get new spawns onto the field. 
and do this over and over again until the shiny does spawn in. We Next up, we're going to be heading back to the polar biome and hunting for Duraludon. This dragon and steel type Pokemon has a brand new evolution in the Indigo Disc, so definitely one that you're going to want to hunt for. Now we'll be heading back to the polar biome. We will this time be going for Duraludon, and it will be north of where we were hunting for the Beldum and those shiny Metagrosses earlier on. It will be located here on your map, Closest fly point is going to be the Polar Outdoor Classroom 1. So you want to head to this location and then start heading west in the Polar Biome towards this westerly wall. Like I say, just north of where we were doing the Shiny Beldum and Metagross hunt earlier in this video. So when you come to this area here, you'll notice a big rock in the middle of this crevasse. And it is going to be looking towards this block tower in front of you here. And it is just going to be in this opening towards the end of the crevasse area where we'll be doing this hunt. There will be a bank to the side of you. And this is where we're going to be wanting to set up our picnic. Again, using the picnic method to hunt. Duraludon in this area. It's going to be a very easy hunt for you to do. First of all, drop a save like always so you can reset if you don't get the shiny in the 30 minutes that you get from your sandwich power. Then set up your picnic. Just make sure you've got an area where you can set it up. It is quite tricky here being quite sloppy. But once you've found that spot, get your picnic set up and set up a sandwich. It's going to give you the encounter and sparkling power level 3 for dragon type Pokemon. This sandwich is going to give you isolated spawns for just Duraludon in this area. It is a difficult shiny to spot because the only real telltale to it, it is a slightly duller silver color. And the blue is a slightly more vibrant on the shiny than it is on its regular form. But the big telltale is the head piece that it's got. It isn't red, it is all silver. So that's a big telltale. Although you will be able to notice the shiny when it does pop onto the field. It's just some indicators that can help you spot the shiny because it does look very similar to its regular form. But again, when the shiny does pop up, drop a save before you encounter it. Then you can ensure to get it in whatever special Pokeball you get. And of course, you can evolve the Duraludon with the new item, the Metal Alloy, which you can get very easily from the item printer or buying from the shop in the Blueberry Academy. And once you give it this item, you'll be able to evolve your shiny Duraludon to get a new shiny Archiludon in the Indigo Disc. And the last hunt that we're going to be covering today is going to be for one of my favorite Pokemon that's returned now in the Indigo Disc. And that is going to be for the normal type Smeagol. And we're going to be going to the Canyon Rest area here on your map, which is in the Canyon Biome. And after you fly in, you want to be heading over to this cave area here, but it's not inside the cave where we'll be going. You'll see a selection of rocks just on the ground next to us here and it's just beside these where we're going to be wanting to locate ourselves for this shiny hunt again before we do anything drop a save and then set a picnic up you're going to be making a sandwich that gives you the sparkling and encounter power level three for normal type pokemon Smeagol going to be a very easy shiny to spot. The tail on shiny Smeagol is red rather than its normal green paint that it does have and its coloration is a lot more yellow than its kind of paler yellow that the normal form has. And again, we are using the picnic method to despawn and respawn everything on the field. Once you take your picnic down, you'll notice smeagles that will appear throughout this whole area. So you are going to have to use your camera to pan throughout the area to check all of the smeagles that have spawned in. But again, like I say, a very easy shiny to spot. The shiny is a lot more yellow in color. And using this method, you're going to get an isolated encounter for just Smeagol appearing in this field area where we're located. The other method you can use here is just running around this area because you're going to get primarily just spawns of Smeagol here. And the area is big enough where you can just run around this area and check each and every spawn that comes in. You, of course, will get hordes of Smeagol kind of following you about. So there will be points if you are just running around this area, checking each one for the shiny. that You will have to set your picnic up. Just make sure you don't miss any of the Smeagols that have spawned in. Before you do this, you don't want to miss the shiny if it does pop onto the field. But again... You can just use the picnic method. It is just as easy and you don't have to move around too much. And you're going to get a good number of Smeagol spawning into the field at any one time. But eventually repeating this process will spawn in the shiny and it will look like this. And it is one, like I say, of my favorite Pokemon that are returning in the Indigo Disc. So drop a save before you encounter it so you can get it in any special Pokeball you want and not to waste any of them. Because 
Even with the item printer, they are still pretty difficult to get in the game. Encounter it and then utilize a false swipe user, some status condition as well. And you should be able to pick up this Smeagol pretty easily, a lot easier to catch than that Beldum from earlier on in this video. But do let me know any of these Pokemon that you have caught in your own games. I would love to know which special Pokeballs or Pokeballs that you've caught these in in your games. And with that, friends, that is all six shiny hunts that we're going to be covering in today's video. Very easy for you to do. Get some of these brand new Pokemon that are now available in the indigo disc in their shiny forms in your game i hope you've enjoyed today's video i hope it's been useful if it has please do consider dropping a like it does really help out the video and do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scholar and violet content thank you so much for tuning in hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye